here you see uh, EM Drive 500 from Enziso and uh, I've configured everything at uh, 99 volt at the moment only to see it uh, that the controller is uh, working so here you see uh, the water cooling inlet so at the moment uh, I will do not uh, any load tests because the water cooling system is not uh, yeah, switched on or let's say already installed and I can switch on the system now via this little uh, on off switch and now you see this uh, LEDs running and uh, the drive is uh, free now so if I pull the throttle it already begins to run by the way I'm running in talk mode and uh, yeah that's not the most powerful or let's say not the most powerful but uh, I will control via the current uh, the, the talk at the end and this sound here which you hear it's normal so if I move the tire backwards forwards it's quite still okay so let's start with the parameterization so with the controller you get the the USB to CAN connector here this little guy uh, one of the mo most important things here is there's a, a little switch um, called termination and you have to put it in on position otherwise you will not see any connection with the system oh it's the controller so I hope you will see here everything I use a MacBook Pro uh, with uh, Parallels, so you have to configure it uh, via Windows, and uh, therefore you have to uh, install uh, the eDrive configurator and also um, for the Canvas uh, device you have to, to install the driver itself. It's written everything in the manual you got from, from uh, MZZO so for this it's uh, very easy to install if you have uh, yeah, some questions you can ask them but uh, normally it takes a long time if you get an answer so from, from one day to, to three four days that's normal but uh, maybe I ask them too many questions so I am at the end. I open the eDrive configurator, and now you see target platform doesn't have any serial ports. Software running is in offline mode. So what I have you to do at the moment? You see here is a COM port, and here nothing is standing inside. Um, and now it it becomes a little bit tricky because inside the manual. They are showing that a COM10 was written here and you can can use it. So what you have to do is you uh, have to go to... Um, oh, one moment please. Uh, to your... Sorry, it's in, in German, huh? isn't it? Yeah. System uh, menu. Your system. And you have to find your... Uh, let's where it is uh, when I found it I will, I will cut this a little bit uh, uh, to the device manager you have to go to the device manager um, system here and well let's see what happens uh, it's in German it's called create a manager here so there you have uh, your com um, LTP port um, so 
at the beginning it was standing com3 so uh, you can double click it and uh, can change it one moment uh, I changed it oh, good question uh, but uh, I I have I had changed No, not here. Uh, but <coughs> on the way. So here you see the the COM port, and uh, well, it must be standing on or at COM10 at least. And also the system says the device is uh, in function. So. But we have to go here to connections, and nothing was standing inside. Okay, I will make a trick now. The system is on. Sometimes it happens that we lose the connection, so I will switch off the USB and put it in again, and hopefully it works. No. Okay. Let's start it again. <laughs> it's very funny now you see it here inside. So sometimes uh it's it's not defects, uh it works, yeah. Okay, so we go to the connection. No, not to the network. We go to uh network connections um, here you see it says COM10 you, know, you, you also see the red line here it's disconnected and uh, if you go to open here it's now connected good and now you have to, to uh, have a look inside the SPO browser so at the moment it's empty and therefore you have to go again to, to scan your devices which are connected to the CANBOS system so you can start here uh, with a scan normally it's at uh, ID 1 so you can automatic stop here because everything is inside now close it go back to network nodes and now you have uh, your node ID 1 go to download and then the EDS downloads the parameters from the controller. Takes a little bit of time, but yes. So uh, for your information, I've worked now over 16 hours to to get the system working as it is right now. And um, yeah, that uh, happens if you have an old manual and the new software. And well, MZISO is. Uh, doing a new one and uh, will forward it to me uh, yeah, for this I hope uh, the steps are which are inside are a little bit more clear to you so we are finished now we close everything and here, here you see also the SDO browser has now all parameters inside which are coming from MC the controller right so a lot of uh, more stuff than I handled before with uh, Kelly Carl S controller or KHB controller. So, by the way, I started with uh, KHB uh, 14600 uh, with this hub motor, and uh, but uh, it's it's not uh, working very smooth with with the motor, and um, yes. So during startups. Um, it came to, to power off uh, situations and uh, I, I can handle it uh, yeah, by pull back the throttle switch a little bit and directly go forward with it and uh, when, when the system is working but uh, that's not what I want uh, I want to have it stable the whole time so when I pull the throttle it, it should accelerate I think that's normal and uh, I, I found settings, but um, the KHB 600 is working with. But uh, to be honest, the uh, 600 amps 
at the motor so you need 600 amps from from the battery uh, or other is uh, let's say uh, <laughs> bullshit <laughs> yeah from where you get more phase current uh, than than battery current it's not possible so at the end the maximum is uh, 600 phase amps that's my point of view okay but let's continue now so the first step you have to do here in the manual is um, you have to put some entries inside um, or we can we can also start with the connection so um, MZO delivers you uh, uh, this EM drive controller and the time to USB uh, device and you can also order the software but no cabling is uh, beside this equipment so you have to do uh, yeah, your own cables um, for example the uh, 35 uh, pin uh, seal connector you have to, yeah, to, to fix it and uh, to make all the cablings here so this is uh, my old cabling um, of course, it's uh, this is a 10 AV, AVG, uh, no, uh, 8 AV, eight, sorry, it's 8 AVG. It's uh, yeah, not so big. So MZO um, controller is uh, recommend uh, up to. I'm, I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's zero AVG or one AVG. So in Germany we said uh, 50 square millimeter uh, copper cable. So I'm, I only do the tests here, not more. <laughs> okay, let's come back to the program. So at the beginning you have to do some entries uh, inside the parameters. I will show it to you. You have uh, to create shortcuts, but uh, I think we will see it later on when I go with you through all the steps. Um, at first you have to, to put uh, the parameter 2033, the pole pairs. So let's have a look here. Uh, 2033 pole pairs. Um, you can read it. What What's inside you see here a default value. It's called 6. So you read it and it's 1 at the moment. And there is a note that uh, if you need whole feedbacks, this value must be set to 1. Yeah. Okay, so everything is fine here because I already <laughs> parameterized it. Then you have to put the next step, 2039. It's uh, 2039, calculation, delay, label, FOC value. So it's 1 and also the manual set this value must be 1. At 2040 you get your feedback type so here you have uh, different choices and I read it out here so 6 it's whole protective communication and there is also a note inside uh, yeah, this step that uh, sub 6 to 6 so and uh, there I made my first mistake because I, I, I read it, uh, but um, let's say I put the 6 to this 6 here and that's all. But uh, what they mean is uh, this feedback revo resolution. Yeah, so and that was my, my mistake. At the beginning there was a value 4096 and the system is not working very well with, with this value so please put here in the number six when we read it out I did it now already and since then I have uh, yeah, much more uh, yeah, uh, how to say much more success with the, with the system so let me come to the next point motor phase offset compensation 20, 24 sub 8 so here you have to put it to 190 mic microseconds. Then we come to the next point, 2054. It's the over voltage limit. 
Well, um, 